to use the custom job update dependency on the UCMDB for um, clients that have high numbers of trigger CIs. In this case, there's 800,000 plus CIs, which exceeds the limit for the trigger CIs. So this job will never fire. It'll always be zero. Uh, so kind of a way to work around that is to first come over and deactivate the job. And this will reset to zero. Reactivate the job. Go to the Properties tab. Edit this trigger query. Show the element instances. And it's going to come back as zero because of the high number. So pick a reasonable number here. The highest you can choose is 150,000. If you select that, you will likely uh, run out of memory. 5,000 I found is a pretty good number. So we'll refresh. And we'll wait. select one, hit control A to select them all, right click, actions, add to CI to discovery job, select the only job that will accept those, say OK, and that's it. You can cancel, cancel, you go to your details tab, you'll see the job is running. Where you'll see errors is either where um, the job, the, the, the CI has already been run against or there's a missing component of that CI. So I saw a couple of CIs that, for example, didn't have an endpoint and so they'll tend to fail. Basically, we'll wait for this to finish and then come back over and uh, rinse and repeat. Deactivate the job, reactivate, select your CIs, add to the job, and let it run. And um, as you can see down here, it's updating. So that's it. Thank you.